A lucid dream is defined as a dream in which you are aware that you're dreaming. Now apparently, lucid dreaming is something that you can actually learn, and if you get good enough, control. Like, Inception. Now to me, lucid dreams are kind of half insanely cool and half seriously terrifying. Like what if you got stuck inside your dream and then you were just living, living your dream? <laughs> okay, I'm cool with that. Right, so after a bit of research, I discovered that first things first, I needed to start keeping a dream journal. Now, I'm the type of guy who never remembers any dreams ever, so it wasn't until day four that I had my first entry. <clears throat> day four. Sorry. <laughs> so last night, I was sitting on a bench in a tiny prison cell when all of a sudden, David Attenborough appears. I literally spent the entire dream trying to get Dave. Why did I write Dave like I know him? <laughs> trying to get Dave to tell me why we were in prison. And finally, he tells me that we're there because we didn't record an audiobook. So now that I'd had my first proper dream, I decided that if I was gonna be able to control them, I should probably try and understand them. So I paid for someone to interpret them. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I am very excited because I've never had a dream interpreted before, so let's find out what this lady from Fiverr thinks about my dream. Dear Liam, being in a very small space resembling a prison shows that you have issues with feeling pressure. Oh, so this is like serious, okay. Uh, <laughs> Dreaming about celebrities is a sign that you have high self-esteem and you'll be successful. Oh, hell yeah, bro. Therefore, this is a very positive dream and you should be proud. Wait, what? I'm gonna keep a long story short here. Over the next 90 days, 90 days, I did not have a single lucid dream. I did have a whole lot of weird ones though. On day 13, I dreamed that an angry mob was throwing butter chicken at me. <laughs> On day 40, I went shopping for colored pencils in a giant fridge. And on day 67, I was at a nightclub that was actually a monster's mouth. Day 67 gets even weirder though because I caught the moment that I woke up on my security camera. I just wave. I just wave. I don't know why. Well, my friends, I think that the dream is pretty much dead, literally. <laughs> I look at the little old lady from down the street. I just don't know if this is ever going to happen. I've literally been trying for 90 days now and I still haven't even got close. Like I'm really good at remembering my dreams but none of them have been lucid, obviously, otherwise I would have lost it. Dude, 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 I, t I did it, I did it. I, I think I might actually cry, hang on. Are there tears in my eyes? No, it's not quite that emotional, but this, I've been trying for like literally a hundred day, a hundred days I've been trying for, dude. I need to explain what happened in the dream because this is not gonna make sense. It took me like 20 minutes to remember that I had a lucid dream, but then I remembered and I turned this camera on and now I'm really excited. Okay, this camera is wonky. So in the dream, I was sitting by a fountain and it looked exactly like this. It was just a fountain and a hill. So I'm sitting there and at one point I was kind of just like, dude, am I dreaming? And obviously part of me was like, no, you psycho, you're not dreaming. Just get back to sitting by this fountain. <laughs> so that got me thinking, okay, well, if this is a dream, I should be able to put my finger through my hand. And I, I did it. I literally put my finger through my hand. It just was like, and at that moment, I remember it was like my mind was like, oh crap, this is a dream now. So it made it look like a dream. Like everything went kind of white and glowy. And so at this point I'm going, okay lads, let's control some stuff. So first I fly to the top of the fountain. Okay. And then I fill the fountain with my mind up with water and it gets so full that it turns into the ocean and kind of a nightmare actually. And it was really terrifying. And then I woke up. But it happened and it was the coolest thing ever, dude. I, if you could master this to do it every day, 
<laughs> Dude. I am probably never going to try this again. Not because it wasn't the coolest thing ever, but because... It took me three months. So I am very glad to see the backside of this. No, that's weird. I'm very glad to see the end of this video. <laughs> I will see you all very, very soon. Thank you very much for watching. Peace out. <laughs> and bye-bye.